With this new part, we're going to move into studying the intensity of sound. And you recall the key formula here is dB is equal to 10 times the log base 10 of I over I0, where I is the intensity of the sound. It's the intensity of the sound in watts per meter squared and I0 is a standard and it's 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. And so with that let's take a look at the problems. The first one we're going to do is problem number 13. Problem number 13 states a warning tag on a lawnmower states that its product no produces noise at a level of 91.0 decibels. What is this in watts per meter squared? Okay, so what we what we know is is dB, and what we want to know is I. Okay, and so we put 13 in here. So this is 91.0 is equal to 10 log base 10 i over i0. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, let's divide both sides by 10 and we get 9.1 is equal to log 10 i over i0. Now at this point, what you do is you, you put in your calculator, you'll find a little button that says 10 to the x. Okay, if you put 9.1 and push 10 to the x, that get that get that get gets rid of this. And so if you do that, you get 1.26 times 10 to the ninth. So 10 raised to the 9.1 power is 1.26 times 10 to the ninth, and that's going to equal i. Now we can put this in 1 times 10 to the minus 12. And then you multiply that both sides by 1 by 10 to the minus 12 and you end up with 1.26 times 10 to the minus 3. 1.26 times 10 to the minus 3 watts per meter squared. Now 91 decibels sounds pretty loud. It doesn't take a lot of intensity, a lot of energy, to produce a fairly loud sound is what that tells you. Okay, number 16. Number 16 states, what is the sound intensity, sound intensity level in decibels produced by earphones that create an intensity of 4 times 10 to the minus 2? You use exactly the same exactly the same formula except now you're you're solving for db so db is equal to 10 log base 10 of 4.00 times 10 to the 2 minus 2 divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 12 now if you divide that you're going to get log base 10 of 4 times 10 to the 10. And then that's going to, you're going to multiply that by 10. And if you, if you do that, you get 10.6. Again, you look in your calculator, and there's actually a button that looks like this. So you put this number in, 4 times 10 to the 10, and push the button that says log 10. And it gives you a number, which is going to be 10.6. You multiply that by 10 and you get 106 dB. So the answer is 106 dB. Alrighty, number 18. Number 18 looks at what happens. I think this is the problem. Yes, this is the problem with the comparison of intensity. Now the, the easiest way to do this basically is to look on in the book 
at table 17.3, we know that if the, if the intensity increases tenfold, that's the same as in increasing your, your decibels by 10. So if you go from 90 to 100, you've increased your intensity tenfold. If you go from 100 to 110, you increased your intensity by tenfold. So if you go from 90 to 110, you increase it by 10 times 10. Well, if you look in the table, if you double the intensity, you increase the decibels by 3. And so if your original sound is 90, then doubling the intensity increases it from 90 to 93. And if you increase it by five times, it goes from 90 to 97. So increasing it fivefold increases the dB by seven. Similarly, if you go down, if you have the intensity, then you go from 90 to 87. And if you decrease it by fivefold, you go from 90 to 83. <coughs> So that's the, that's the idea behind problem number 18. Problem number 27 is a very interesting problem. It talks about something called an ear trumpet. Now an ear trumpet was used a long time ago before they had um, hearing aids. And it basically is just like it sounds. It, looked, it had a big end and then it coned down to a smaller end. And you put this end in your ear. And what that did was the intensity would come in here and remember intensity is watts per meter squared and it focused such that it reduced the surface area. Now if the intensity remains the or the watts remains the same you can see that that will increase the intensity because the area de is decreased. But these were not very efficient. The one in the problem is 0.01 or 1% efficient. So it's asking the question that if you have a trumpet pitcher that has an area, a big area, of 900 square centimeters, and it cones down to your, to your eardrum, which has an an area of 0.5 cent square centimeters, even with an intensity or an efficiency, actually it's 5%, sorry about that, 5%, what, what, what sound, how much sound would be transmitted? So you start out, it wants to know how much or what is the increase in intensity if you use such a trumpet pitcher that goes from 900 square centimeters to 0.5 square centimeters, if you use that, what is the increase in intensity? And without going through a bunch of rigmarole, the, the intensity at the eardrum divided by the intensity, the ratio of these two is going to be inverse to the ratio of the areas. Okay, and 900 square centimeters, if you divide that by 100 times 100, you're going to end up with 0 0.09 square meters on the top. And if you do the same thing here, you end up with 5 times 10 to the minus 5 square centimeters on the bottom, or square meters on the bottom. And so if you put that in here, if you put 0 0.09 divided by 5 times 10 to the minus 5, you end up with a factor of 90. And then this is then corrected for the efficiency. So you multiply that by 0 0.05 and that moves this and so you end up with 4.5 so I too 
over I1 is equal to four is I2 is equal to 4.5 times I1. Let's put it that way. That's the best way to put it. This 90 also included the multiplication by 0 0.05. So it's not 4.5. It's 90. So the difference here is 90-fold. Okay, which is just a little less, it's, it's more than 10, but a little less than 20. And if you, if you, you know, if you work that out, that means that beta 2 minus beta 1, remember if it's 20-fold, then the decibel change is 20. If it's 90, then it's going to be 19.3. Number 29. Now, why don't they use trumpet pitchers? Well, they're, they're a pain in the butt. They're not very convenient. I mean, you basically are walking around with this thing that kind of looks like a, a little Vitrola speaker. Um, you probably don't know what a Vitrola speaker is, but it, it looks like a little speaker sticking out of your ear. Loudspeakers can produce intense sounds with surprisingly small energy input in spite of their low efficiency. Calculate the power input needed to produce a 90 decibel sound intensity level for a 12 centimeter diameter speaker that has an efficiency of 1%. Okay, remember that power is equal to I, well, I times A because I is equal to P over A, okay? And so if we take 90 and we calculate what the I is for that, 10 log base 10, I over I zero. Okay, if we, if we do this calculation, we end up with an I. I'm not going to go through that whole thing, but we end up with an I of 1 times 10 to the minus 3 watts per meter squared. Now the area is pi r squared, which is going to be pi times 0 0.06, that's 6 centimeter radius squared, which is going to be 1.13 times 10 to the minus 2 meters squared. So the power is going to equal 1 times 10 to the minus 3 times 1.13 times 10 to the minus 2 <clears throat> divided by 1% efficiency because you have to supply 100 times what you, if it were 100% efficient. And so if you do that calculation, you get 1.13 times 10 to the minus 3 watts, or joules per second. So it does not take a lot of power to produce what you, were, what you want to produce in a speaker.